Hello students. Today we will learn about overview to protein purification and introduction to protein purification system. Let's start with the introduction. Protein purification is a multi-step process projected to separate a single type of protein from a complex mixture. It involves the separation of protein from non-protein parts and then from the undesired proteins. It is difficult and laborious to purify a single type of protein from the mixture of proteins. It is very important to purify the protein to understand the structure and function of proteins. It is vital for understanding the protein-protein interactions. What is the basis of separation? Proteins are present in very small amount in the crude samples. It may represent only 1% or less of a starting material. Separation of a protein is mainly based on size, shape, charge, hydrophobicity, solubility, density, binding affinity and biological activity. You may have learned the different purification chromatographic techniques. In that cases, this characteristics of proteins are used for their separations. Let's learn strategy for protein purification. Purification of protein can be performed in three phase purification strategy. Capture, intermediate and polishing. Capture phase. Here proteins are isolated, stabilized and concentrated. While in intermediate purification phase, this phase removes large impurities like other biomolecules, other proteins and viruses. Polishing phase. This phase removes the trace impurities. It achieves high level of purity. It is very important to select a suitable combination of chromatographic technique for capture, intermediate purification and polishing phase. Preparative and analytical methods. There are two types of protein purification methods. Generally analytical methods is used to detect and identify a protein in a mixture. While preparative methods involve the production of large quantities of the protein for the other purpose. There are various steps used for protein purification. We need to define objective, identify the source of protein, develop an enzyme assay and then proceed for the purification. The purification involves the preparation of soluble fractions or a prepare a lysates, then go for centrifugation. Then there will be a bulk separation that is generally achieved by ammonium sulfate precipitation. Then one may go for the chromatographic techniques. Generally protein purification involves multi-step process. Chromatographic techniques involves gel filtration chromatography, ion exchange chromatography, hydrophobic interaction chromatography, affinity chromatography, LC and HPLC. Electrophoresis is also used for the molecular weight determination and we can also use electrophoresis to purify the protein in very small amount. It is also used for the characterization of a protein. We already learned in detail about the electrophoresis in the previous videos. And at the end we go for the characterization of the protein. Now let's try to understand the important points to consider during protein purification. We need to carry out enzyme assay at every step so that we can judge progress of the protein purification. It is also possible that contaminants at early stage can inhibit the activity. 
one can run a SDS gel to visualize a specific contaminant. Use a different chromatographic technique at each step to take advantage of different sample characteristics like size, charge, hydrophobicity, ligand and specificity. Minimize sample handling at every step. Minimize use of additives which may interfere with other steps or assay. Minimize number of steps. Generally more steps decreases yield and consume more time. To stabilize protein during extraction, select a gentle extraction procedures. Such procedures should not release photolytic enzymes which may destroy our target protein. We need to work fast at low temperatures. Use appropriate buffer to maintain pH. Note down volume of fraction at each step. Purification table. It is a kind of quantitative evolution of the protein purification scheme. Objective of the purification table is to monitor the development of the purification. Determine protein concentration and enzyme activity to measure yield and relative purity of the enzyme. We need to count specific activity. We need to count purification factors. The purification factor should increase as the purification progresses. Similarly, the specific activity is also increases at each step of the purification. Yield. Total yield of the enzyme activity of a fraction. We need to determine. The amount of activity in the initial ex extract is taken as 100%. We require a good yield and good purification level. If purification skips, gives highly pure protein with little amount of protein, then further characterization will be difficult. Since little amount of protein is available for further experimentation. If purification scheme gives less pure protein with high amount of protein, then your protein sample may carry the contaminants in the final product and it may complicate the further analysis and interpretation. You can judge the protein purification table from the given diagram. You can see that after each step the specific activity is increases. Generally if you increase more steps then yield will decreases. After each step, purification fold is increases. This is a general diagram which explains about the protein purification scheme from the plant source as well as animal source. Now let's try to learn about the protein purification system. These are Automated system consists of assembly for loading, collection and detection. Such systems are specifically designed to facilitate easy isolation of the target protein under simple or complex conditions. Such systems are designed for easy of use with software. Advanced protein purification system design are modular which allows different forms and valves and other hardware to be integrated as required. This diagram explains the general arrangement of the automated chromatographic system which consists of the space for the chromatographic columns. The chromatographic columns receives the sample with the help of peristaltic pump. From each fraction the automated activity measurement is carried out. Each fraction will undergo a UV detection. Okay. And at the end, each fraction is collected in the fraction collectors. That's all about the protein purification system. Thank you very much.